your dumb self, right? I done opened my car door. Mind you, I had slippers. Open my car door. Open my door, right? I stepped in my own throw up. Right. What is one of you two? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see by the title today, I'm going to be telling you guys a story time. Yes, a story time. So this is my first story time. No, my second. So if you didn't see my first story time, it was the time when I was someone's side chick and she was pregnant or whatever that link to that video will be in the description down below but besides all that I basically tell you guys in an embarrassing story i guess you say it's embarrassed i mean some people's experiences may be crazier than my experience with trying out for the first time but like literally i'm gonna tell you this story and i might include another story but basically this is a video of me getting high for the first time so I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory. Like in high school, I didn't smoke at all. It was more so like a thing where like I didn't want to do it because everyone else was doing it. So I did wait and I had graduated in 2019. And this story takes place the following fall of when I graduated. It was cold. It wasn't too, too cold. So I feel like it was more on like fall. I feel like it was still fall. I don't think it was winter just yet. And I was 19 at the time. I am 21 now. So this was two years ago. But yeah, so in high school, I didn't try anything. I didn't even try drinking for real. Like I tried all that stuff after I had graduated. But this day... No, so prior to this story time, prior to this story time, I did smoke before this story, but I didn't get high. And it could be a thing where I didn't know how to inhale right or the gas was not hitting. But this is when I smoked with my cousin for the first time and when I actually got high. It was actually in my car hotboxing and we was in my parking lot that's near my house. And the one thing around my house is that the cops do take the rounds near my house. So I don't know why at all places we just stayed. We're in the car, we're in the car. And if I have some clips, I will insert some clips. But if I don't, then I don't. But I swear I took some clips. I think I took like two videos of that night. And if there is some... And if there is some videos, I will post them like in this video. We're in the car and he's rolling up the, you know, the which one call it. And I'm sitting there debating because like before I even got in the car, he did ask me if I wanted to, you know, if I did want to, you know. And I was just hesitating because I'm just like, you know, the last time I didn't get hot, but this time I know that I'm going to get hot. I was just like, all right, let's do it. So he's asking me if you're sure. Da, da, da. I said, yeah, let's just do it. And around this time too, I did just get done breaking up with my ex at the time. So I was just like, it's whatever at this point. Like, bruh, it's whatever. So we're in the car. He's rolling up. And, you know, he lights it and he takes a few puffs of it, you know, to get it going or whatever. And he hands it to me. And I'm just like, Messiah, do you really, really want to do this? And I was just like, let's continue. So... I hit it a few times, I hit it a few times, and I feel as though that I wasn't really hitting it as I should. So I gave it back to him, watching him, so I can see how he is doing it. And I see him inhale, I see him exhale, all that extra. So he gives it back to me, and I was just like, all right, let's do this. Like, let's try this again. So he gives me the thing. I inhale that. And I don't know if it was the same effect that I inhaled a big amount, or it was just my first time actually inhaling, but as soon as it hit my lungs, I was coughing so i'm already coughing whatever coughing coughing we did have water in the car so i was like all right cool some of the water that was in my car i give it back to him so he's asking me if i'm good i'm like yeah so he after he's done with his little turn he gives it back to me so i'm like doing it again and again and i didn't inhale as deep as it did the first time but i was definitely inhaling i'll say like after i don't know if it's a, i'm a lightweight or what but like after the third puff me doing it actually correctly I was like, all right, I'm starting to feel something. Uh, around this time, I had just remembered that I didn't eat. So I didn't really eat that day. I didn't really drink anything that day. I just didn't really have nothing in my system. I'm like the fourth puff. And I take a pause. And he's just looking at me. And I gave it back to him. And I opened my car door and I threw up. I threw up. I gave it to him and I threw up. I threw up. I didn't throw up in the car. I opened my car door and I threw up on the floor. But I threw up and I was just like, bro. And during the whole time, it wasn't like no like one and done. It was like all this stuff that I didn't have in my system. Like at this point, I was throwing up my intestines because there was nothing in my system. So I was just throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. Nothing in my system. So he was like, are you good? Actually, no. Before he even asked me if I was good, he was cracking up the whole time I'm sitting there. 
and pain throwing up my my intestines so he's cracking up the whole time and i'm looking at him like whatever bro like that's not even funny throwing up throwing up and i just take a pause and i was like trying to get myself back together um, after him you know done laughing whatever he's doing he tries to hit me back to blunt and i was like ew and i had told him i was like first of all i just threw up and you're trying to hand me back the blunt i said that is so dirty so i said no i don't want that i just threw up and that's just dirty even if it was my own blunt i wouldn't have continued because like i just threw up i'm cool off with that so he's like okay whatever whatever so i was saying what well, that was not even like five puffs and i was like done for the rest of the night like and he's finishing up he's still sparking it finishing up all this extra stuff and i'm just sitting in the car and i'm just like as i'm sitting in the car like i feel like time is going slow so i'm sitting there and just really think about things like thinking too deep into things because i'm on and i just start being paranoid and i'm like bro that's another reason why i don't wish my club because i don't like being paranoid and mine too it's like i already feel like my legs are done like i feel like if i were to step out of this car i will fall i will definitely fall and you know he gets done and we're just kind of like sitting there we're just kind of vibing i think he did spark another one but i don't know so at this point i done broke the hot box i done throw up embarrassed myself and i was just so done for a night and on top of that the one thing about me when i'm high i don't get hungry at all i really don't get hungry i feel like a lot a lot of people do get hungry but i was i don't get hungry at all me getting par paranoid i was i was thinking to myself like bro there's somebody in the car there's somebody behind us i feel like somebody was going to kidnap us like in the in my own car mind you the doors are locked even after I had, you know, did what I did outside the doors, I relocked the doors. So I know, like, mentally, I know I'm tripping out, but, like, I'm still, like, tripping. Like, I'm still paranoid. And then I feel as though that, like, I astro project. And I don't know if you guys know what that is. But that's basically when you see yourself outside your own body. And I felt as though that I was seeing somebody underneath my car. So, like, if I were to step in my car, they would, like, try to snatch me up. Like, I was just so paranoid. Like, even how we was parking, we couldn't even see my door to, to get in my house and i thought that somebody was standing there waiting for me to just snatch me out like i was so paranoid and i was like what like bro we're like are we done for the night and like i said i'm not even hungry i'm just trying to go back in the house trying to sleep and he was just like yeah we can be done so my dumb self right i done open my car door mind you i had slippers open my car door open my door right i stepped in my own throw up so once I got a car, I said in my own throw up, I was like, bro, like I forgot I even I even threw up at that point. Like I forgot. So as soon as I did all that, I just took my slipper, got a water bottle, and just start t trying to take most of it off until we got in the house so I can clean it off. But like I cannot believe I stepped in my own throw up. And I was like, that is so disgusting. Lay down on my bed and I probably stayed up and for like an extra two hours being paranoid until I actually went to sleep. But when I woke up, I was sober again. So that was cool. Three reasons why I don't smoke. Yes. What are you doing? I'm doing YouTube. For what? A YouTube. For what? For my channel. What are you doing though? I'm doing story time. What for what? For my YouTube channel. You what? I'll be in the house in like five more minutes. Well, he has his medical card, so yeah, he has his medical card. And I remember pulling up and I had went to like probably like 45 minutes away from my crib to meet him somewhere and we meet up in this parking lot and you know he or was this was this the same time i don't know if this was valentine's day or what or if i met him twice i don't know i really don't know it's been like what two years we had met up this parking lot he was like, all right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some gas. Went to go get whatever he had to get. Came back, and that was the day when I first smoked with him. Don't smoke with strangers, bro. Don't smoke with strangers because you don't know if they could have, like, they can have anything, like, diseases, whatever. But he didn't, but still, don't smoke with strangers. I smoked with him, and his stuff had me tweaking way worse than what I was smoking with my cousin. So it was to a point where like I was out of character and I was yelling at him like for no reason. It could be like a thing where like he's changing like I remember, no like that was so embarrassing. He had changed the channel or the music to his uh to his car or whatever and I yelled at him because he changed it and I'm like yo 
I had yelled at him because he had changed it. And I'm like, that is so not, out of, that's so out of my character. That's so out of my character. And he was looking at me like crazy, like, what's wrong with you? And I'm just like, bro, like, I know I'm not tweaking right now. I was like, all right, let me just go home. And we had went, I had left and went into my car. And like, I swear, like 45 minutes drive back home was really, really like difficult for me because of his gas. So after I had left his, uh, after I had left me and him, I drove home or whatever and like during the whole time of like that 45 minute drive like back home I was paranoid the whole time I was thinking that there was cops behind me I was thinking that I was thinking that other uh, cars were like undercover cops like I was just so paranoid I didn't really drive like I was under the influence but I knew that I was paranoid that I felt as though like every car was a cop car but like I could get home easily and I remember that night that my sibling was at a party so I had to go get her then come back home before I e could even go home for real and prior to oh yes another thing so prior to me even leaving him we did go get some wawa and i did eat a quesadilla that was the first time i ever got hungry high like that's the first time but again i didn't eat anything all day too but when i had got done that i went to go get my sister from this party and she knew i was high she was like you're in i was like yeah i'm on i'm definitely on and she was just like oh my gosh and i think i had like a last piece of my quesadilla left and I was eating it. And she was like, oh my gosh, we got to get you another one. So she did, uh, you know, they was, you know, she was in my car. We did drive to Walmart again. I think she paid for my second quesadilla. Got that. And I was eating it. But like, it was so good. And yeah, so we went home after that. And I think after that day, I think was the last day I stopped smoking. Like, I stopped. I think that's the end of this story. Like, if I have any clips or pictures from, like, any of the story times I told you, like, I would definitely insert them. But I think that's the end of this story for real. But I would like to announce, too, that I am doing a cash-out giveaway still. All the rules to that will be in the description down below. Just follow my friend Mars' channel. Give her to 1,000 subscribers. And once she hits 1,000 subscribers, I would pick a winner for $100 either Cash App or PayPal if you have it. But other than that, I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you guys do want another story time, because I do have a few stories I can tell you guys. Or if there's a video idea you want me to do, then definitely hit up my social media. My social media will also be down below. But I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Yeah.